everyone, it's Anya here at Our Gable Town where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy and sustainable living in a natural home. And this is what I would like to talk about in this video, one of my favorite fabrics and that is wool. You may have watched one of my other videos why I love linen and how to take care of it so in the winter season and maybe you can hear it a little bit in the background it's a very cool and stormy day here in Northern California wool is the perfect fabric to wear and stay warm in the winter now Wool has been used for centuries. It comes off of sheep and you may have seen it in coarser, or worsted weight. And more recently, in the last few decades, merino wool has come on the market, which is from sheep that live in the Southern Hemisphere, the merino sheep. And it's a, a lighter, uh, finer weight of wool. And wool has a lot of benefits. So wool was always the original performance fabric. European mountaineers and people in colder climates wore wool for all the benefits and one of them is obviously it keeps you warm. So it really keeps the body heat in, especially if you layer wool pieces over one another. And then wool absorbs sweat, so even if you sweat you won't feel wet. Wool can actually absorb a 30% of its weight in moisture. So you won't feel wet. It will also wick sweat away from the body so you can feel dry longer. It regulates your body temperature. So in the winter, wool keeps you warm and in the summer, it can also keep you slightly cool. One of the things that I really love about wool is that it doesn't absorb odors. I have actually worn in the summer a wool t-shirt for days when I was sweating or when it was warm and all you do is you just air it out for a day and then you just keep on wearing it so you don't need to wash it as often which is always a plus in today's busy world. Aside from that it's also not very susceptible to stains so you don't need to wash it as often which makes it a very sustainable fabric because you don't need to wash it very often, but also because it comes from sheep, it's a renewable, sustainable fabric. And lastly, it's 100% biodegradable. And one thing I really like about wool too is that more recently, in the last few decades, we had polyester fleece come on the market. However, the challenge with polyester fleece is that when you wash it, it releases tiny, tiny, tiny fibers into the water and it ends up being in the in the rivers and in the oceans and we don't really know how that's affecting humans and animals in the long run. As I'm standing here in front of this beautiful heirloom piece that I inherited from my great uh, aunt, I think that's what you call her, great aunt, this is over 100 years old, I want to show you some of my favorite wool clothing pieces. Here's a hat that I knitted some years ago. We know that we lose a lot of body heat through the head and using a hat always keeps one warmer and sometimes it's just a fashion statement but regardless wool is perfect for knitting hats and maybe there's another video out there a tutorial how to knit your own wool hat so stay tuned for that. This I've had for a very long time it's a wool scarf it's actually very soft and I love it. It keeps me warm. Sometimes that's all the extra warmth I need to stay nice and cozy on a chilly winter day. I'm gonna be linking some of my favorite pieces of clothing down below in the description box so you know where you can find these pieces too. I have a wool undershirt that I've been loving for years. I have it in various colors and as I said earlier, wool actually keeps you even warmer when you layer it. So this is always my base layer. It has a little bit of a lacy detail here, which is kind of cute and feminine. You can get that without it. 
So that's a very thin base layer undershirt in wool. And then I have some wool t-shirts. Uh, they can also function as an undershirt. So they've got little sleeves here. This is one that I have worn on a warm summer days for days and days and days and days and didn't really need to wash it. So actually I don't wash my wool clothing very often. If you're interested in how to wash and take care of your wool clothing, stay tuned until the end of the video where I talk about that. So this I also have in various colors. It doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't stain very easily, it doesn't absorb orders, and it's just always a really nice, timeless piece to wear. The turtleneck that I'm wearing is a merino wool sweater that I got some years ago. It's perfect. I love the wearability of it and it's a really nice warm piece on a cool day. I always have some wool socks around in the winter. I have a few pairs and they, because I wear them so much, they tend to wear out. And as you can see, I have mended the heels here. I've darned my socks. I have another video in which I'm showing you exactly how you can darn your own socks and I actually love getting more life out of my wool socks. Since we don't wear shoes in our house, we wear slippers and I have a pair of felted wool slippers that I have worn and worn and worn and worn. I've actually felt it a little um, bit here because it was wearing through the ball of my big toe. So these keep me really nice and warm in the winter and they also keep me somewhat cool in the summer. I, so I wear these all year round. And as a last piece of clothing, more recently I have found a felted wool shoe and I actually really love that. Um, there's something about wearing leather shoes, but often I like to just slip my feet into shoes and leather doesn't necessarily always feel that comfortable. And so I was really happy to find that now we can get wool shoes. So they're actually breathable. They won't absorb moisture quite as much. They won't get quite as dry. So you can go out on a drizzly day and won't get wet feet right away. And they're washable. So that's a really cool benefit. And one last item here, which is not clothing, is one of our wool blankets. It has the wool mark. On it and we have a stack of wool blankets in our home that we use when the evenings are kind of cool and we don't want to crank up the heat or you know we're sick we're just snuggling up on the couch there's always some wool blankets that we use and that we have there how do you take care of your wool clothing first of all you as I said earlier don't need to wash it as often that's a plus sometimes just putting a sweater or a t-shirt on a hanger and hanging it outside for a day might just do the trick and then it's good to wear again. When you do wash it, I recommend one of two things. Either you wash it by hand in the sink with a very mild detergent, or if your washing machine has a wool or delicate cycle, you want to do that. If you do wash it in the washing machine, make sure it doesn't spin because wool doesn't like to do that. If you do end up keeping your wool clothing in the spin cycle, they might actually get a little felted. So if you didn't want to do that, then don't put it in the spin cycle. If you wash your wool pieces in the sink, use a mild detergent. There's something like wool light, which for me has a bit of a strong scent. So I actually like to use my Castile soaps, hemp derived, unscented soaps and I just take a few squirts and I just kind of squeeze it and massage it a little bit. You'll see that the water gets a little bit looking like a very weak coffee and then you rinse it really well and gently wring it out and best actually lay it flat to dry it. If you do wash it in the washing machine, you can skip the spin cycle and then just gently squeeze it out again and then lay it flat. And that's really all you need to do for taking care of your wool clothing. I find that my wool clothes tend to wear better than many of my non-wool clothes. And I also mend my clothes. So if you have holes in the elbows and a sweater or in your socks, you just take some yarn and you mend the hole. I hope you found this 
video helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe to my channel i upload new videos every week you can also go to my blog at ourgabledhome.com where i have more tips and recipes i look so forward to seeing you next time thank you so much for watching <music>